Peace, power, and so welcome back to the next nuclear radio show, UNONC. Again, we are the Fugitarians. We are the Fugitarians next now. Um, and again, this is the next nuclear radio show on Spotify Green Room. We are on Spotify Green Room again. We are live, going live because we are living, living in the next living in our what you say our highest version our higher selves you know we're, we're again we're alive because we're actively channeling and tapped into this um this intel we're actively receiving intel and this intel is helping us move throughout this um lower dimension and we're able to again extend our minds our bodies and souls even further because again we're not limited being tapped into intel or constantly receiving intel makes us limitless makes our ideas limitless makes our movement our mobility our mobility as activated men and women is becomes limitless as we begin to realize what our purpose is as we begin to fully understand or as we say omni stand and mega stand what our roles are in aiding in the forward development of the planet. So today's topic is, um, by the way, uh, today's date is Wednesday, September 8th, 2021, 921. Um, okay. And today's topic is peace, power, soul, and activation. Again, peace, power, soul, and activation. As you constantly hear, will hear me say, or the other brothers and sisters uh, say, uh, peace, power, and soul, or, or peace, power, soul, activation. But that's cold. Peace, power, soul, and activation. That's a cold. That is cold for truly omni standing and mega standing how to ascend or how to move forward or how to mentally. Uh, what you say, tap into what's next. When you have peace, when you're mentally at peace, and having mental peace means that you have power because knowing that having mental or dealing with the intel gives us power. Power in the quality of what you say, activated minds that are actively channeling next now. And the soul dealing with us being soul men and women or soul beings that can tap into the solar rays. And again, us being able to tap into the solar rays, we are activated. So to be able to ascend or to fully, what you say, tap into the intel, you really have to understand peace, power, soul and activation. Peace, power, soul and activation. Those are the four keys to get to the fourth dimension or to get to the upper dimension to get to that fourth format peace power and soul no peace power soul and activation those both are the four keys peace power soul and activation us being the peace aka the balance us being the neutral breakers we are the peace and us being at the top of the mental or top of the mind chain currently and in the future, that gives us power. So we have the peace and the power. And as far as our soul, our souls are that, that energy, that same energy that is of the sun or that is similar to the sun or like the sun or equivalent to the sun. Again, that soul the soul energy is what drives planets for it develops planets for so we have the soul we have many suns within us because again we are connected being the mediators or being these conduits of being able to pull in um what's coming down to the planet being reception being reception being reception with that being said you know we understand that being soul and with the soul and when it comes to us omnistanding that we get activated even more knowing that we're only going to evolve or dealing with this evolvement we're only going to evolve further and further into more extended more extended um light projections or would you say more energy-based beings more dealing with uh 
that being able to happen by way of us constantly activating our souls activated and our minds activating once our souls and our minds continuously to get charged and get get activated again we're only going to furthermore tap into more and more um further insight that us that's going to excuse me that is going to uh guide us into what you say further discovery further development the more that we are bringing our minds together the more that we are coming with what you say our intel the more that we pull our intel together the more again we we come to realize we come to discover our potential our potential even further and our potential even further will be to again keep things moving forward Keep things moving forward. That's ultimately what uh, what you said. Keeping the energy on the planet moving forward. Again, we don't have to. What you say, deal us being the two hundred rising. We're not dealing or not going to associate ourselves. What you say, intermingling or what you say, what you say, enter. What you say, um, what you say, ourselves or trying to be around other people who are not on the same frequency and vibration as us. Because again. As we move forward, as we extend our minds even forward, you know, many people won't even want to be around us because the energy is going to be so powerful. The energy is the, the energy that we radiate as radioactive beings or radiant radioactive beings. The the energy that we we, we radiate, that soul energy that we, we we radiate due to us being activated, is going to either uh, attract the right pe- right people or attract the right ones. Or it's going to repel. It's only going to attract the right ones, or it's going to repel the ones who don't need to be over here. So, so with that being said, um, again, peace, power, soul, and activation. Peace, power, soul, and activation. Those are the four keys. Like I said, there are quanta codes, or there are activational codes. That we have, we can say, recognized in the pattern that they've come. You know, they've sent messages to us, and these messages represent the intel. So, whether it be by codes, light codes, numeric codes, again, you know, where we're able to pick up and mentally process that by way of uh, our organic processing unit, aka our mind. AKA us being these organic uh, cyborgs. Shout out brother AF1. Um, again, check out his channel, um, Fugitarians Activation Channel. Again, Fugitarians Activation Channel um, on YouTube. Check him out on Facebook, uh, AF1, A, letter F, and the number uh, one as in, or well, spell out the word one pretty much. So AF1, AF, and O N E pretty much. So check him out on Facebook. Um again, check him out on, on YouTube, Vegetarian's Activation Channel. So again, you know, we're we're up here spreading this activitarianism next now because again, you know, we're we've been activated. And we continuously, again, when we come together and again put our minds together, again, we're causing major shifts, major developments, forward evolution by way of again, each one teach one or us. You know, again, being able to reflect, reflect and not deflect, reflect different ideas back and forth. Us being this council with 200 rising again, building leaders and not followers, because it's all about the peace, the power, the soul and the activation. And the council, the council will, will be the only ones who will be able to bring that set forth peace, power, soul and activation. You either a part of the council or you're not. But where the balance, where the peace, the true peace sign are the ones together and not the ones separating. The ones together and not the ones separating. So ones walking with ones, walking with ones, walking with ones. 11, 11, 11, 11,111 to the 111 power because we are exponentially growing into the upper dimensions forward horizontally and vertically next now so yes peace power soul and activation
Peace, power, soul, and activation. This is the next nuclear radio show, UNONC. And once again, we are the Futuritarians. Again, we are the Futuritarians next now. Again, um, and we are networking as ones. Each one reach one. Each one teach one reach one. However it goes, but we're all linking up. We're, we're all finding the right ones or coming amongst the right ones who are a part of the 200 rising and the ones who are, what you say, wanting to, to, to excuse me, wanting to stay stagnant or wanting to ultimately, uh, who are content, which is, it's okay. If they want to be content, you know, that's okay. You know, but those are the ones who are considered being the, the 200, um, those are considered being the 200 fallen, those ones who still stay content, the ones who are still staying, the ones who are actual, those ones who are actual ones, but they again manipulate the zeros, happen to be those who are still the 200 fallen. They rather still manipulate zeros and not, what you say, come together and unify and extend these uh, activation of energy on the planet by way of, again, each one reach one. Or each one teach one, you know, we are a reflection of each other. So if we're talking about building, moving forward to the future. So it will make sense that, <clears throat> excuse me, it will make sense that, you know, if we're for our people and, and if we all have that same goal, which is, you know, being separate or creating our own society, it will make sense to just come over here or come, would you say, do something, you know, I would say of your own part that would actually aid into creating a, a shift or a forward development or some kind of new, some kind of new, um, newtopia that, that would ultimately, um, to say move things along pretty much. But eventually, you know, we, we understand that us being the uh, neutral next Nubians or us being neutral, being the breakers out of the, the positive and negative, we bring the peace, peace being the balance and us being the power. So. You know, when it comes to us being neutral or these breakers out of the positive and negative cyber circle here in the third dimension, we omni stand, we mega stand that that our purpose is to always, uh, you know, bring forth balance on the planet, and that is ultimately um, with, with that balance that requires a lot of power because we, we understand what our purpose is. We control both positive and negative. We control both positive and negative and again dealing with uh, being neutral and us being on at the top of the mind chain. Uh, we understand that, you know, again, it's not about how many people you have. It's all about the quality of people that you have. So again, numbers don't matter. Numbers mean strength. But then when it comes to power, it's all about the mind. The mind is truly what really is what power shows or what we can demonstrate our power by, our minds. You know, how deep of a thinker are you? How deep of a thinker can you, how deep of thought can you actually, you know, go into to pull into the future or pull in what's next? To pull down what's next because everything that's ahead of us is, is basically in the upper dimensions. So, so like I was saying, everything that is in the upper dimensions happens to be up, up, up and away. So we're mentally channeling by way of MAS. And we, again, MAS happens to be uh, mental atmospheric sweeping. Like, you know, how I said before in the last, uh, I think, video or last, uh, last live I did, basically long range scanning versus short range scanning. So we can uh, uh, scan people's scan people's minds or scan them, um, which is considered short range scanning. And then being able to, again, scan long range happens to be, you know, picking up on the different energy shifts in the in, in the other atmospheres. Um, again, I have a video on YouTube where, again, I just walked outside, but I, I sent something was above my apartment building and, and, I, and I looked up by, by way of me sensing that by way of mental atmospheric sweeping or MAS meant to have experience censoring, um, I, I was able to, again, sense that there was a object many, many thousands of miles up in the um, higher higher space, upper space, but it was floating there. So I have that video on um, our channel. Check us out on um, YouTube, UNONC, 
the United Nations of Next Nuclear, but staying focused, staying on staying on point and staying focused, we have to we have to realize that the more that we um or the the more that the ones who keep dragging their feet, the ones who are necessary, the ones who are key into actually moving the planet forward, the more that they keep on dragging their feet. The more that they keep on um not being of peace, not being of power, not being of the soul and not being um activated, they're only making things worse for uh, themselves, but then again, for the ones that they have under their, uh, what you say, under their hypnosis, a lot of ones, um, have the ability to, you know, again, we are able to, the, the ability to use hypnosis is a, a gift that everybody has who, who's of the, you know, um, of the extended mind frame. But when you have people who are manipulating people, by way of that, that that's when it becomes a problem because again, that's not of peace, that's not of neutral, that's of being positive and negative. And positive and negative is uh, what you say. What a lot of these ones use, or those ones use, who are of the two hundred fallen, those ones who are still stuck and who can't seem to network and expand, who can't uh, come together and who can't unify. Because again, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, there's levels to the mind chain. And again, we're not saying that we know everything here in UNONC or we vegetarians, but we we understand that again, there's there's things past spirituality, there's things past religion, there's things past being woke, there's things past being conscious, there's even things being past um past activation that we've yet to tap into. But again, we are ready and we're open to receive what's next. Because again, as as an electrician, we were taught and we always know that energy takes the path of least resistance. So, again, energy takes the path of least resistance. So we understand and mega stand that when we're not fighting ourselves, when we're not, you know, doubting ourselves or in a low vibrational mind state, then, again, we're only going to receive and download more and more of this extended intel, this intel or this more extended clarity that's only going to be able to push us further. And what you say, extend us down, down the path or what you say, do this, do this uh, lower dimensional plane. And again, as we begin to move forward in our right state of mind, we're only going to ascend or we're only going to, um, what you say, become more and more, um, what you say, extended by way of the, the solar rays come down to the planet. Because again, the more that we come together, the more that we as activated ones or solar beings come together, we're going to shift this planet because so much power will be concentrated and channeled and focused into the future that everything that that's around it will only fold or will only, you know, fade away because the only thing that matters is what's power. What creates more power? What channel, what, what can channel more power? And that'll, that'll be us being able to channel. That'll be our children being able to channel. That'll be our grandchildren being able to channel. That'll be our, our great, 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 great grandchildren being able to channel this solar activation energies. Because again, we are able to do this. That's our natural ability as activated, um, beings or solar beings because solar beings are activated because the sun activates us. The soul, the soul force, the soul energy activates us. So this peace, power, soul and activation. Again, this intel is brought to you by our higher selves set in the upper dimensions and beyond. Again, we're, we're channeling upper and outer from the fourth up to the 13th dimension and even beyond that because again, you know, as we said before, you know, check our brother AF1's channel as he said before, you know, everything is as above, so below. So if we're channeling into the fourth dimension, being currently in the third dimension, our higher selves in the 13th dimension are channeling in the 14th dimension. So, you know, we're, we're channeling one dimension higher that the fact that our higher selves are being in a um, 13th dimension. So, again, you know, it doesn't stop. Everything is continuous. Everything is going to, you know, keep rolling and moving forward. And it's nonstop. It's, it's nonstop evolution, nonstop growth. And it's nonstop peace, power, soul, and activation. Once we ascend, once we continuously ascend, you know, no more death, no more having to be reincarnated, no more re's. It's all about E which is all about evolution, all about energy, 
or all about the A, all about the activation, all about the, what you say, um, the alpha, the alpha energy, generation alpha. That's next. That's going to ultimately cause a major activational shockwave. I mean, I'm understanding that that these uh, generation alpha and next generation um, newborns who are being groomed or who are ultimately looking at the world that they're being uh, bought into. And again, you know, we have to be the ones to maintain the peace or bring forth peace, show them what peace is, show them what the balance is, show them, show them how peaceful being balanced is and not being on one side of the spectrum, whether it's positive or negative, choosing the straight and narrow path, whether than trying to be good or bad, when you can be neutral. Everything that is neutral is necessary and it's not a sacrifice. So being of peace, being of the power, meaning being of the mind, always trying to extend your mind, body and soul, or always trying to try to extend your mind represents power. Because again, we know we don't know everything. So again, you know, it's always good to open your mind to, you know, whatever is next or whatever is next that is logical and rational. And when you do that with the combination of being peace or being the balance, your soul grows, your soul expands. And all, when all three of those are constantly growing in, in unison and constantly expanding, then you're constantly activated. And you can activate others, you know. You can activate others, peace, power, soul, brother Nikki. But uh, you know, we're out here, we're actively channeling, and and again, you know, our our mind, bodies, and souls have always been set for the future, always been set on what's next, and that is physically being able to ascend to this um, upper dimensional um, format, which is the fourth format, the fourth format, dealing with the one 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 or eleven eleven, which equals four, which equals that doorway, which equals the doorway to extended activation and more intel mentally physically and soulfully so again peace power soul and activation again this is for next week radio show UNONC we are the Futuritarians. Um and also we thank Spotify Green Room for allowing us to basically uh, cast our voices which would you say cast our voices um, through the airways which is a using this platform because it's only going to bring us closer and basically unite us with the right ones or, like I said, bring us around the right ones because we're we're dealing with ones and not zeros. We're dealing with ones and not zeros. We're we're not dealing with with any zeros because, again, our, our time right now is to extend and move things forward. We don't have time to keep saying that we're confused and we don't know. No, we do know our purpose. We do know what's next. We do know what, what it takes to, you know, move move forward or or to get things moving forward. And it's damn sure not complaining and blaming people. It's, it's, it's damn sure not complaining and blaming people for your shortcomings and whatnot. It's called moving forward, <clears throat> moving to what's next, moving forward into a right mindset revamping your mind frame with these solar rays us being able to do this has kept us on this path of being neutral you know we're not happy about having to do all this we're not i'm almost happy about doing this but i mean we're not happy about having to you know be here at this very moment because again you know we know that where our souls are telling us that we we can move on but our bodies have to wait our bodies are still stuck in so-called time because again everything is false development you know again everything is is a process that's why again phase two of planetary activation is coming in in it's processing right now everything is processing right now so when it comes to um the sport development of the planet you know all of the, the energy and all the intel that we've been able to process and which is a pull in by way of our organic computers, aka our minds, and it's ultimately been telling us, as far as the insight, it's been telling us to basically look to the future, look to the future, and stop trying to equate the future, stop trying to use the past as a, what you say, a crutch to try to, what you say, navigate the future. The future cannot be, what you say, uh, it it can't be navigated. 
the same way that we've navigated ourselves or navigated our past in the past. Everything is next. So when it comes to the future, you know, we all we're doing is revamping our mind frame and revamping our mind frame is basically, you know, throwing throwing away everything that we were taught and raised upon in the past and just saying, hey, you know, going off our natural intelligence, being able to tap into, again, the sun rays, aka a natural sunlight or natural energy source on the planet is the sun and the many, many different, um, what you say, stars that actually lie beyond our sun. So again, you know, we, we understand what our purpose is and the more that we, what you say, equate peace, power, soul, and activation, being those very four points that are going to push us um, or help us ascend mind, body, and soul. We keep those, if we keep those, you know, in the front of our mind, peace, power, soul, activation, then we're, we're going to ascend. We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to, again, open our, our minds and, you know, receive, you know, these, these next solar blueprints or these next, what you say, solar instructionals to push us forward. Um, and you know, like I said, being able to navigate and break the threshold of this third dimensional algorithm. And we constantly override it by, again, you coming together and unifying as ones, you know, ones overriding the one zero, one zero, one zero, which is basically overriding the 3D algorithm, which was, um, just say, put here artificially to throw us um, and keep us illusion from being able to unify and come together as ones, which will basically overwrite the 1010, which we already have with, with being ones, 11, 11, 11, or like I said before, 11,111 to the 111 power, which, which ultimately explains our exponential growth. So dealing with like exponents for all my people who are, who, who kind of remember, you know, being in math class, dealing with, you know, exponents, the more that we keep on ascending into the upper dimensions, you're only going to find more ones. There won't be any zeros. There won't be any people who are going to drag their feet and flow up the process of evolution. There are only going to be 11,111 to the 111th power, which is 1111111, exponent 111, and so forth. Because, again, it's all a code dealing with the quantum computer, dealing with, again, you know, this futuristic intel moving forward next now. Everything is coded. Everything is cold as far as, um, you know, how everything is visible by way of the light spectrum. So those those are codes being sent down, which grow things and basically, you know, again, make things move forward. So, yeah. Um, again, um, this is the Next Weekly Radio Show of UNONC, um, and we are vegetarians. Um, next now, so again, peace, power, soul, and activation. Just remember, you know, when you think about it, we represent the peace because, again, we're always going to be neutral or be the breakers out of the positive and negative, or, or we have always been the neutral or the balance, the peace, the breakers out of the positive and negative. And once we've, um, you know, we omni stood that or we've mega stood that, uh, we've ultimately gained a lot of mental clarity, mental clarity or this extended clarity, which gave us power. So with that, those are two that are checked off the peace, the power. And with those being said, you know, uh, peace, power, soul, brother, AF1. So with those being checked off, you know, our souls become more extended, um, us being the actual soul energy as itself and not the actual vessel that we are. Um, we begin to become more and more activated. So again, um, yeah, Brother AF1, when you want to talk, go ahead, feel free. But again, um, we are the Vegetarians Next Now, um, and this is the Next Weekly Radio Show, UNONC. Um, yeah, today's topic is Peace, Power, Soul, Activation. Today's time, um, well, today's time over here in Las Vegas is 9.48 a.m., so again, you know, it's pretty early. Um, so yeah, brother, hey, how you doing? Peace, power, and soul. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear, loud and clear. Oh, okay, yeah, I just popped in. What, what What's the topic? Uh, oh, peace, peace, power, power soul, and activation. Power. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, yep. During dealing with peace, peace. Give you what, what? What do I mean by peace? Peace of mind. You got to have mm-hmm. a peace of mind because that's going to move you forward. If you're around people and, and you can't have a peace of mind or you're going to places where there's no peace, there's always confusion and chaos 
then that's going to slow you down mentally. That's going to, that's going to, um, it's going to slow you down and, and, and it's not going to speed you up. Right. The power. Yeah. The power is always going to be, um, um, reach, uh, charging up, ch charging up your soul, you know, regenerating your soul, charging, charging that back up, getting that, getting that to be on a, on a, on a, I'm going to give you an example. Like when, um, like dealing with the futurians, like we 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 experience a lot of stuff dealing with spiritual with spiritual energy because the solar energy is outshining the spiritual energy. So I'm gonna give you an example when uh, I went over to somebody's house and there's a there's a spirit in there, and they're like, well, every time you come over, nothing happens. I said because when they see when they see a futurian, but all they see is a big ball. It's it's sort of like if you had. If you had a mini sun sitting in your living room and you're trying to you're trying to focus on something, but it's just like if you look at the sun, you know, when you look at the sun, you got to put shades on. It's too bright it, that that the rays is just beaming down. So that's the same way when you're dealing with the spirit realm. When they see when they see one of us, all they see is a big ball of light. It's so bright. So every time I'm in that room, just a true story. This just happened every time I'm in that room or in that living room. Uh, we I went to the kitchen and they were like, it's behind you. It's in the window. And I looked out the window. I kind of seen a silhouette, but then it just, it, it left. And they were like, well, that's so weird. Every time you come over here, nothing happens. But as soon as you leave, it's like she hears, she hears certain things and certain voices like, he, oh, you know, he's gone. Stuff like that. Because this stuff is real, man. When you're dealing with the solar energy, the solar power. The spirit, the spirit, the spirit, the spirit world, they, they flee from that because it's just like, remember, remember when you was Neo in the Matrix, remember Neo in the Matrix when he, when he got active, because that's what they were showing you. They were showing you activation. So when he was in that hallway in the first Matrix and he jumped into that, into that cyborg's body and exploded him. But when they were, when he was look, he, when they were looking at him, you know, he was in the ones, he was in a quantum computer. So it, the whole point I'm making is when you see spirits come around us, they flee because it's too much light. It's too much. soul. they see when they see it, it's just like looking at the sun. Right. OK. Yeah. Yep. That makes so much sense. You know, that's why, again, you know, I was talking about in uh, a particular podcast uh, it referenced erasing the spiritual realm. That's that's honestly, you know, what the sun is pretty much doing. You know, the more that this uh, it puts out these powerful CMEs and solar flares and whatnot, it's only going to eat up and destroy the spiritual realm, aka with the dimensional realm. So, you know, that'll be the end of, like I said, a lot of that so-called demonic energy or that you know low vibrational energy that is going that's going to constantly be here. You know, we're going to move forward. That, that's going to constantly stay stuck here. So, you know, once we leave this third dimensional realm, you know, there won't be no point of actually having this uh, you know, or having a third dimensional realm. Because, again, we are the reason why the third dimensional realm or why it's still in, intact right now. Because we're the ones, like I said, being the, the peace or being the balance. We're the mediators. We're the ones, you know, these conduits tapped in or, you know, actively, you know, receiving this intel to what you say sort out the balance or process process this balance, this um intel coming down to the planet. So yeah. Uh yeah, but they have one. Um so yeah. What were you gonna say? Yeah. Oh, because uh dealing with the um with the activation. The activation, see when you, when you got the six protons, six electrons, six neutrons, the reason why the push is the push is on that so hard on the golden people, I don't call them the black race, the golden race. The push is so hard because they know that that they know that that could be activated. That's the that's that's the beginning of you breaking out that circle, that loop, that hamster wheel, that loop process. So once you activate, that's what six 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 is. That six 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 is an activation number. That's why in the Bible they say it's evil. They say it's evil because they don't want you to tap into your to your higher to your Merkaba to to your higher self and tap in and start to because if you if you if if you start thinking on a futuristic level, intel level, then that's your that's your future self sending it down to your present self in this state. That's why we, the same way uh, you was talking about pulling from the fourth dimension, because that's the next dimension. So a lot of people skip the fourth dimension and they go to the fifth dimension. And they've been repping the fifth dimension, but they're not, they're skipping a whole dimension. So that's why they're not coming with intel. They're still, they're still coming with information, reading books, 
this is not because they're skipping a dimension because as above, so below, just like we're pulling from the 14th dimension in the 13th dimension, it's the same as down here pulling from the, the in the third dimension, pulling from the fourth dimension. So when you hear people representing the fifth dimension and the, the reality is that if they're if they're past the fourth dimension then they should be coming with some intel, something that's next. And that's how you know if they're really pulling or not is is coming with coming with something next. Yep, that's and that's ultimately, you know, like like I was saying before, you know, the only way to really pull in what's next, you know, because people don't omni stand or mega stand, but but the energy and this intel will constantly come down here. So it's it's constantly surrounding us, but it's more or less, you know, the ability to open up your, you know, your mind, body, and soul and actually what you say, process it. Processing this this intel or processing the uh what you say solar um uh, activational um intelligence is you know again what's of the future you know there there is no you know like like you said before having to rely off any um uh, you know artificial uh search engines or even again you know there will be teachers but there won't be what you say again like how we see them how they have them in this society whether they're professors or whatnot no. We will all be teaching each other, but then again, we're all going to be able to again use our own minds and receive and pull in by again tapping into the solar rays, whether it be here or in other dimensions. But there will always be a central sun that will will be able to again utilize the um, portelling or portelling of um intel coming through. So yes, um, that's why again, peace, power, soul, and activation is you know really like I was saying before our you know, in my opinion, are the four keys or the, uh, again, four, uh, would you say, ways that we are, are able to, again, you know, move forward or really ascend mind, body, and soul into the upper dimensions. So, uh, again, you know, this yep. is... Yep. Yeah, I'm doing with the, um, the, 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 that's why the portal, that's why I keep, I keep stressing it to people, especially the ones that are new listeners, the portel is they're always going to have it's going to be the it's going to be the webster dictionary version and it's going to be a secret code to that word because now the codes everything's being broken down and now stuff is moving faster so when you have a when you have a portel they're not telling you that if they, if it's a portal they're porting what they're porting intel so when you're dealing with a one walking through a portal they're coming from the future they're porting intel that's what portel means that's why i always stress that because it's not going to tell you that specifically in on Google or in a Webster dictionary, but that's what that means because when you're dealing with these different portals on the planet, these different portals that you know they they call they call dead zones. The reason why the dead zones, the reason why that your your phones you know your phones don't work and you know your watches start spinning is too much magnetism because that's a that's a that's a porting site. That's how they come through because they don't want nobody in them. They don't want nobody in those areas. So that's why when I when you when you see these UFOs and these unidentified flying objects, those are three dimensional beings. Them is just high, highly advanced beings. The ones that's coming from the upper dimensions, they go through portals. They don't use spaceships. They port. They already break it down because when you're dealing with um, the microverse and dealing with regenerating cells on a physical level, they already been done, figured that out. Third. 13, 13 billion years in the future. Right. And see, you know, that being said, you know, knowing that they're that advanced, you know, it just shows, you know, what's next as far as, you know, our ability to extend to on like a mental level. And then, you know, as far as, you know, being able to, again, manifest that it's, it's endless. So when people tell you there's nothing new, under the sun or there's nothing new coming from beyond the sun you know there's, there's always the future there, there's always next so again you know and we've yet to fully you know fully fully experience or you know fully understand you know what we could truly truly tap into because again you know like i said with so many uh you know different stars and suns you know out there in the extended outer space you know again you know it's there's endless intelligence that lies beyond us you know, we don't know everything and we we don't claim to know everything, but we've come to a point where we have tapped into a 
a stream of intelligence that has moved us forward. It, is, it has evolved us forward because we've seen the results. You know, again, it's you know highly unmatched. Google can't find yeah, just it. Like, <laughs> yeah, just Google. Google can't find it. Siri and Alexa. You know, man, when they dealing when you dealing with Intel, they gonna always they 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 got processes and stuff that run run almost the speed of like. See, that's another thing. The so reason why the right, reason right. right the reason why they can't they can't run the speed of light is because they're not these people that's on this planet man they're not worthy of going the speed of light that's why if you do if you do research on um on the uh I think it's the particle collider where they're colliding particles allegedly that's what they're doing is colliding particles but they can right. only go nine point they can only go nine point nine 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 point nine 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 point nine 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 nine. They can't touch the speed of light. It's like that for a reason because that's a code that's been locked, and people are not worthy of going that unless they unlock that code. Dealing with the activation, dealing with activation. Now, if you look at that movie, you look at that movie, um, District Nine, and remember in District Nine when they had dropped that, they had dropped that that walking cyborg like army tank machine and what happened all the people all the humans on the planet uh they they couldn't activate it but what happened what happened when he when he got that dna from from the from the bug what happened he was able to activate that machine and that machine was was a highly advanced machine everything's about activation even dealing with the whole planet, everything when you, when 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 you when when there's a fire when there's a fire in your neighborhood, they activate the fire department. When you got a domestic in the neighborhood, they activate the police. When you got a country trying to invade a country, you activate the military. When you're dealing with DNA and unlocking junk DNA, you have to activate it, and you have to you have to go through a one to get activated. And that's how that's how in the future people are going to be working. There's already stuff. There's already stuff set in place here that's already put here for a reason. But see, they ain't going to tell you all this stuff that's put here for a reason. But they, they, they're wondering why they can't activate it because they're not worthy of that technology. Nope, because they're not supposed to be able to, you know, operate this technology. That's why, again, you know, they they want to say that, you know, the uh, our ancestors were, you know, really, really primitive, you know when it came to technology but they were highly advanced back then so just imagine you know if they were able to do what they were able to do back then just imagine what we can do and what we have been what you said uh been distracted from possibly been able being able to do you know creating you know futuristic devices and all you know all other kind of things that could move the planet forward you know we we have to focus our minds on the future and and not on what's presently here or you know what they're trying to have us focus on constantly that's why again you know we keep coming on here trying to activate the the uh, right one so we can all come together and you know move the planet forward even faster so yes yeah it doesn't take doesn't take a lot it doesn't take a lot see when you're dealing with see now it's already to the point where they got um they got these high power um they got these high power rifles they're using a uh um a plasma source where you literally pick the gun you can literally pick the weapon up and it's going to be in a and if you if you if if you're not worthy of it you can't fire that weapon to that state where now everything's just going to be just going to be your car is going to be like that you know what I mean? You're gonna have you're gonna have you're gonna have your car like that. It's going it's going to actually somebody's going to get in your car, and they're gonna they're gonna call you on your cell phone like, hey, could you activate this car for me? They go about, oh, let me register. You know, say so I register your uh your biometrics your and stuff, right? Instagram, yeah, your bio or whatever your Instagram or your biometrics. That they're boomed in the car, and now you can drive that car. This is what we're moving to, and then a lot of a lot of things that's going to be it's going to be coming to certain people. It's going to be it's going to be a code in that. <clears throat> going to be a code in it it's going to be a code that only 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 activated ones can activate it because everything's about activation when you go back you just look at everything like that it's just just like when you dealing with google siri and alexa just like you can activate you can activate your voice on on those where they, where they only register to your voice and this is this is what we're moving to because the futuristic but it, it's going to start moving so fast that the people 
the, the people that ain't worthy of having this technology because it's going to keep moving faster, faster, and faster. That's why they're at a standstill right now. They ain't going to tell you that they're at a standstill right now. And they're wondering why are there scientists and this and that. They can't go past that. They can't go past where they're at. They're stuck right now. Yep. That's why, you know, when it comes to a lot of these physicists, all of these, you no know, a biologist, you know, all they can give out and dole out is theories and you no, know, but they can't come out with, with anything that that's plausible or solid that we can actually, you know, rely on or bank on everything that they've ever given us are theories, you know, of how we should look at life and whatnot. But again, you know, since we've been able to move past it again, you know, we, we've been able to extend past theories and coming to knowing and army standing and mega standing by way of being activated and being able to tap into the intel. So this peace power and soul activation to all of us. So again, um, this is next week, a radio show. You and I see we are vegetarians. Um, again, you know, going to keep, keep extending this, uh, activism that you know, one. you want to keep on building, man, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just want to say peace, power, and soul, everybody that's listening out there. And, you know, you can always contact either me or, or Zareus Nuclear. But, check uh, the channel out. I, yep. Yeah, check the channel out. It's the Futuritarian Activation Channel. And, yeah, I got something I got to do, brother. But peace, power, and soul, I, I, I'll get up with you later. Okay, peace, power, and soul, Take care. Okay, so, yeah, you know, um, we are the next two clear radio. This is the next two clear radio show. Um, UNONC. Um, we are vegetarians. Um, thank you, Sister Karma and Brother Nikki for again coming. Um, again, um, until next time, again, our next uh, live will be Saturday, um, again, 12 p.m. PST, 1 p.m. MST, 2 p.m. CST, and 3 p.m. EST um, on Saturday. Um, so yeah, check us out. Um, thank you for all y'all support. Um, until next time, uh, thank you all. One love. Um, today's topic was peace, power, soul, and activation. Either you activated or you not. Get activated. <laughs> there's you know there's you know many songs out here on YouTube talking about activation, but activation is a real thing, you know. Especially when it comes to ourselves being able to go through mitosis and cell division. Cell division is a form of activation. It's expansion. People think division means that you're breaking things up and trying to sever it, but no, depending on how you think, because we are the peace and we we are balanced. We see it from both sides, but at the same time, futuristically, division would mean expansion, dividing and multiplying, or how I would look at it would be when it comes to mitosis, it, it means expansion. So replication or, you know, that being said, uh, you know, furthermore, uh, again, dealing with peace, power, so activation, you know, just the whole point um, of these four particular points, um, these will help us. Or I feel like they, they've helped me get to a certain point where I begin to, I'm constantly ascending or I'm constantly, uh, what you say, uh, growing as far as in my curiosity to want to expand my mind. So, you know, knowing that, um, you know, the mental aspects of everything here in all in all dimensions happens to be the mind because the mind has to constantly uh, understand or be aware of what it is doing to be able to uh, you know make everything else follow or be able to you know, move in line with that. So uh, with that being said, uh, we are vegetarians next now. Um, so peace, power, and soul. One love.